All right, here's a little uh, visual of why I was cutting down all these trees. You can see this six panel job here is uh, still shaded. That one over there, you can see, still has the tree shaded. Uh, that's a picture of my new little Amish dog taking herself for a walk. There's the big oak tree. I got that far cutting it up and uh, wore me out pretty good. Undecided what I'm going to do with that big chunk of oak yet. Now you can see over here the sun coming up and I'm doing this on my phone. I have more trees over here. I can't really see the sun's blinding me. There's one there, one there with the X on it. And there's two or three more in the background over there, but they're in with those root balls, which is extremely dangerous when you're in there working with a chainsaw. That's not a good idea. But it's 100% improved. I was uh, in the shade, or shaded, until almost 1 p.m. And you can see the frost on the ground just going away. It's uh, 25 degrees this morning, Fahrenheit. So that one over there, pretty much the bottom row, bottom strings out. And this one here is pretty much totally out. And you come around to the back side here. And that one over there, the four panel job's getting a good bit of sun. And the bottom two rows on the other six panel one are just coming into play. And it's uh, a little after 9 a.m. Sunday morning. It's Sunday the 12th of December. Luckily we made it through the uh, crazy weather on the night of the 10th. And not too far from me, up in Kentucky, they got really hammered really bad. A lot of death and destruction was not good. It was a wild night here. So, there's the frost on everything. Anyway, that's just a little update on the tree cutting. I took down there, I took about five more out. And I'm going to try to mix this in with the other clips that are on the phone. But I had a good shot this morning to show how dirty, not how dirty, um, the shadows on the solar panels. It's really killing it in the morning. But before I took those trees down, these two right here were just totally not doing anything. Until almost 1 p.m. in the afternoon and then by, you know, 3.30 it's over. It is winter time. Alright, I hope everybody's doing well. I'm going to cut this off. Give you another little peek of my new puppy. Taking us off for a walk. And uh, that's it. I'll be back at a later date and show you some more updates. A nice cold Tennessee morning and we are making power. Alright, that's it. A little backyard buck. A little spike of eating pears. There he goes. Okay, here's what I'm uh, doing today. Today, I think, is uh, Thursday, December 9th. I finally got this uh, huge half rotten oak tree down and I had help here when I had the uh, Marky G was here to help me and this was uh, had me extremely worried I'm starting to cut it up now I've got all the branches gone it's still very precarious as you can see it's, it's partially buried in the ground Four more trees have come down. Two more over down in there. That one over there with the F on it. I gotta cautiously go around the root ball pile. I want that to come down. And what this was doing this time of the year, in the morning was shading all of my solar panels. Well, these two six panel jobs. They were like in the shade till 1 p.m. And then who do we have here? What's this little thing making noise in the background? I'll get more on that in a little while. It's 
the latest addition to the old homestead here. Let me show you the stump. That piece laying there that smashed was one of the pieces of the tree that was rotten. And over here you can see where the wood was all kind of punky, kind of soft. And then it went back to about here and it got good. And this was uh, kind of precarious because I got a 20 inch bar and I had to cut it from both sides. And it started going and I took off and ended up taking some wedges on this side and beating the wedges in and it was so little of the tree standing the wedges knocked the tree over and luckily I didn't die again so that was good. But now I gotta take care of all those branches down there and this thing still has about 70 different ways to hurt you. So I'm being very cautious. You can see over here where it hit the ground. It's split open. And I got all these out of it. And this thing, oh, I almost went down. You can see in here, oh, it just fell apart. I got chunks of it are still buried in the ground. And more down there, so I got to be real careful how I cut this. And yeah, that's that's what I'm doing. So if nothing else, I'll have this for my own record. So it's got a lot of nice barrel pieces on it that I'm saving. And uh, so far, so good. See this end over here where it hit the ground? It busted open pretty good. I'd have to say this is the uh, scariest tree I've taken down here just because I really didn't know what I was going to get into and now I gotta carefully cut this all up in here or it doesn't either come snap back on me or fall on me or whatever this thing's a mess all right more to come that's my little update out here on a I don't know, it's about a 60 degree day winds blowing pretty good so yeah it's a good day to do this all right, the big oak is down. I think the last one I'm gonna take down is the one over there that says F on it. Let's see if I can zoom this in. I'm doing it on my phone. Yeah, the F is, uh, that's another oak tree, so F is firewood. All right, that's all for now. I'm out.